So next up, and last before the break, we have Ruth Kelly. Ruth, ooh, <laughs> early whoops. Uh, Ruth is a service and interaction design lead with Fjord. Um, she is based at the dock, uh, an R&D incubation hub for emerging technologies uh, with human-centered design at the core. Ruth has over 10 years of uh, experience in the industry. She's worked as a visual designer across print and web, uh, and she then transitioned into service design uh, or sorry, service design thinking and design research while in Germany. Her talk is called Caution Robots at Work. So thank you, Ruth. Hey, um, so I wanted to talk to you today about the impact of um, AI and other emerging technologies and how that's going to affect us as designers um, and how that's going to affect people's jobs moving forward and uh, specifically job losses as, you know, we're starting to hear... We're starting to hear a lot about this in the media now, which is, you know, being heralded as the, you know, robot apocalypse, where there's stuff like McKinsey saying, you know, 30% of all tasks within 60% of jobs could be automated right now. But I think the could is a really important part there. So how exactly that's going to roll out is really yet to be seen, and it's going to, you know, be be the next five years or so. So these are some examples that I'm really excited about of, of emerging technologies right now that are kind of innovating in this space. You know, this bank is available in Dublin. It's, um, you know, it's got no, um, no branches. It's all, all mobile. Lemonade is, is a really cool insurance, um, kind of peer-to-peer -peer new business model, which is, which is going to change everything in that space. Um, and of course, I don't need to talk to you guys about, um, you know, self-driving cars, but, you know, the amount of people employed in driving professions right now in the US um, is the same amount of people that were um, you know, unemployed during the Great Depression. So in certain industries, this is going to hard, hit hard and fast. So service industries are, are going to be hit um, you know, very quickly by stuff like Flippy, the robot um, <laughs> burger flipping machine. Um, but you know, so it is definitely going to affect kind of blue collar workers and white collar. I'm sure you guys have all you know, reading in this space, but you know, the people who are less capable of reshaping into this new digital economy are going to be um, people who are currently kind of low income and low education. So, frankly, all the people in this room will probably, you know, in a really quick time, re find a new path. So, I'm sure everyone remembers um, the grid coming out and the, the, the big kind of furor about it being this, this AI, and it didn't take any of our jobs, I think it's fair to say. <laughs> um, so, you know, but, but our role is going to continue to change, um, you know, in this, this new dawn, I guess, you know, where um, our jobs are safe in terms of, it w there's no predictions right now that this is going to be automated, but, um, you know, the role of, of really kind of working more closely with, uh, you know, data scientists and advanced analytics. There's a new ask on us now, you know, previously it was kind of, okay, we got to uh, ramp up and learn how to code. And now it's, now it's a new ask, which is, which is, okay, now we need to understand what, what data science is about and to actually co-create, um, you know, with these guys. And with this will come an emergence of lots of new, lots of new jobs, and we don't know what they are yet. So there is going to be you know, this period of time of turmoil when people are going to sort of be be disrupted, but then there will be all these exciting new jobs like cyborg anthropologists and data security. <laughs> so who's, uh, <laughs> this, this, is our, this is us. Uh, so, you know, who's going to get these jobs and who isn't? And, and you know, it's, it's back to the sort of double disadvantage piece again. So, so I guess we look out to the thought leaders in this space and the wider world to, to try and understand what's going on. So, uh, you know, Elon Musk, and um, Bill Gates are, are talking about the, the robot tax because if we, if we take away a big chunk of the workforce, they're no longer earning the income. So then the whole business model breaks um, of, of our cities and um, stuff like universal basic income, um, you know, this idea of a living wage for all is being trialed in Finland at the moment. And, um, you know, so th there's all these ideas floating around of how we might go about solving this problem. And, and then I suppose the question is, you know, for us in this room as designers, you know, do we just suck this up and, and sort of accept that it's going to happen and, and that's the way it's going to be? And I suppose the question I would put to us is, you know, I think we've never been given more value. Um, we've never been given more recognition. You know, it's, you can see it all the time, even with acquisitions like Fjord. We're, we're getting a place at the table and maybe we can use this kind of new new power and voice um, to, to really be the voice of the user, which is to kind of say, okay, well, if you're, you know, 
designing a product or service that realistically is, is expediting and automating part of, of that and you're super proud that it's going to make everything faster and better, that maybe you service design in some, <laughs> uh, some workable solutions, you know, so we don't just take their jobs, you know, and, and with this package that you sell, maybe you also suggest, okay, well, if we're going to maybe put a whole bunch of people out of work here, maybe we can figure out a way to service design them back into um, this is Pepper in the dock. Everyone from, from the dock is going to recognize her. And, um, you know, it's going to finish on this concept of um, that we don't need to worry too much about it because, um, <laughs> Andrew Webb said, uh, you know, anyone that's ever owned a printer is not going to be super worried about the robots taking our jobs. <laughs> um, so I'm just going to give a quick plug. We're looking for a bunch of people in Fjord at the moment. So if you're interested in, in a job, check us out. And uh, thanks a million. <laughs>